So one of the things that bugs Photoshop uses on a day-to-day -day basis is that you can't actually over scroll from a document when you have it fully zoomed out like this. So for example, if I try to move my middle mouse button, as you can see, it's not scrolling to the left or to the right or top to bottom. And this is because over scroll is not enabled. So in this video, we'll learn how we can enable this feature. Cool, so we're once again in Photoshop in my design class. So the issue that we have is whenever we're zoomed out of our document, so as you can see, if I keep zooming out, and I try to scroll using my mouse, as you can see, I can't actually scroll up and down. If I zoom in, and you can see that the canvas is actually extended over the edge of the viewing panel, I can now use that middle mouse button in order to scroll down and also to scroll up. But this is very annoying if you can't sometimes do this when you're zoomed out because it automatically snaps to the center. So in order to enable this, all we have to do is go to Photoshop at the top left hand corner, go to preferences and then go down to tools. And then from here, what we can do is, as you can see, you can change a whole load of different options. For example, you can also enable zoom with your scroll wheel from here. But in order to enable over scroll, all we have to do is find the over scroll option. And then all we have to do is press on a tick. And now, as you can see, it's enabled. So if we press OK. And now I try to scroll using my middle mouse button. As you can see, I can now scroll all the way to the edges of my canvas. And if I hold command, as you can see, I can now scroll from left to right as well. That's control if you're on Windows, by the way. So that was a really quick video, but as you can see, it's a very great feature to allow you to actually be able to move around your document a bit more freely. If you ever want to unable it, all you have to do is go back and untake that feature. If you're interested in how you can actually get emojis in Adobe Photoshop, then do check out the video in the top right hand corner of the end screen. And otherwise, do remember to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the content and do subscribe to the channel to make sure you never miss a new Photoshop tutorial.